Hi, this is Chris Gebhardt with NetApp. Today I'd like to take a couple minutes to talk to you about reducing CapEx and OpEx with VMware View on NetApp. So let's start by looking at VMware View 4.5 and its ability to provide tiered storage. Tiered storage provides the enhanced end user experience by reducing boot, login, and virus scan storms, as well as any other heavy read activity. The addition of SSD drives can provide a significant performance increase, but can be cost prohibitive at 20 times the cost of SAS drives, thus increasing the entire cost of the solution. Now let's look at NetApp Solution. The NetApp Solution utilizes VMware's tiering feature to provide a more cost-effective solution than SSD. Using a flash cache module, NetApp can provide equivalent read performance to SSD and reduce the number of disk drives required for the solution. And using FlexShare, customers can ensure that the master data store is always available in flash cache, thus lowering the capex of the entire solution. Most legacy storage vendors will require one or more systems and or gateways to serve multiple protocols. VMware View can utilize either SAN or NAS or a combination of both. But since VMware View is for end-user desktops, most solutions will require file storage for end-user data, thus requiring a NAS gateway, even if the View desktops are located on a SAN. NetApp has one architecture with the ability to run Fiber Channel, iSCSI, Fiber Channel over Ethernet, NFS, and SMB. No need for NAS gateways, no need for bolt-on boxes. NetApp's single architecture provides total flexibility. Multiple platforms built from a single architecture allows companies to scale as they grow and not have to rip and replace for entirely different architectures. This helps companies avoid lengthy and complicated data migrations as well as steep learning curves and never-ending professional services engagements. And when legacy storage vendors have multiple architectures, OPEX is increased in that your staff must be trained on both operating systems, and also the simple fact that there are two operating systems increases the maintenance and tuning by at least two times. But with NetApp's single architecture, there is only one operating system, data on tap. From the smallest to the largest systems, data on tap is used across the entire platform portfolio. Ethernet storage solutions from legacy storage vendors require multiple architectures or bolt-on gateway devices to make their storage look unified. This increases the capital and operational cost of the solution as there are multiple architectures and multiple operating systems. With NetApp single architecture, NFS, SMB, and iSCSI can all exist on the same platform and be served through the same wire. No fiber channel backend is required or NAS gateway devices. And NetApp is the only certified end-to-end -end FCOE solution. This allows customers to continue to reduce the number and types of infrastructure components within their environment. And with all traditional legacy storage vendors, there are most likely multiple caveats. No end-to-end -end FCOE support, deduplication for NAS only, only identical files deduplicate. That means virtual machines do not du duplicate. This all leads companies to have to spend more money than necessary for the same functionality that NetApp provides. And with NetApp, technologies like block-level deduplication, data compression, cache deduplication, flash cache, NetApp wants to help you reduce your total VDI cost. To further help reduce OpEx costs, NetApp has created the VSC 2.0, a vCenter plugin that allows VMware administrators to perform many storage-related tasks. Tasks such as provisioning of data stores, cloning, backing up and restoring data stores, virtual machines, and individual files, and configuring the environment according to best practices. The VSC helps simplify management of your virtual environment. One choice, unmatched simplicity, NetApp. Go further, faster.